So welcome to part two of the session. And this we have already just shown some samples of what students across uh, India have done. So these are some samples. So this is something which is fam very familiar to the maths teachers, art integration. Uh, this is a graph and integrated beautifully with art. Now, this was a student who integrated this linear equation. Okay, these are linear equations. And linear equation was uh, the, the boy is wearing uh, the dress here. This can be replaced with any uh, dress of any state, right? So very uh, thoughtfully did. And also look at this art integration work, square root spiral done so beautifully, right? So these are some examples I'm showing because I feel that if you uh, get idea. So this was last year's project that we had given. Uh, this is again mass related. The left that you see is the proof of the Pythagoras theorem. And the right side is to prove area of circle is pi r square. Both these they integrated with R. And this is done last year. So this is actually uh, Sikki marked. So they have used, see, to color that they have used designs which are very specific to Sikki. So the same thing can be done for the, your state, uh, whichever is the pairing that has to be done there, right? So it's important that. Uh, uh, the I will be sharing that circle also. Look at the, another beautiful picture here. This is the soil and for the soil profile, what has been taken? They have taken all material that is available uh, at home only. And see here, beautiful diagram dep depicted. Internal structures of the body, lungs, everything can be depicted. You have kidneys or heart, everything can be done. Like in this case, it has been demonstrated very beautifully by the student. So this is, there is no dearth of ideas actually. When we start uh, giving them projects, again, uh, this is someone has, uh, this is which type of biscuit you are aware? This is available in your state. Anybody knows the answer? Which type of biscuit is this? Has anybody eaten this? <laughs> So, yes, good day, Manpreet, ma'am. Thank you. Good day, biscuit is there. So, we see how the child has taken that good day biscuit and made it into a beautiful explanation of North Pole, South Pole, Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer. The equator is there, Tropic of Capricorn, and Antarctic Circle. The biscuit doesn't remain a biscuit now. It becomes a learning tool. So, this is what has happened in, in that. On the right side, you find that this is the derivation of an identity a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab and again this is integrated with sikkim art because we had sikkim last year and this year we'll be doing obviously andamans nicobar and lakshwadeep right so this is there and uh, i'll be giving you some more ideas yes this is thanks to some teachers who shared this they are students who have made life cycle butterfly this is small kids primary kids uh, see the diagram here that you see. There's a house made, air, water, living things, food, space, all that. With the help of diagram, they are responsible. So your topic would be that what is important for us to live, okay? The air is important, water is important, What what is important for us? And the project is made out of it, okay? Shelter is important. With the help of a small uh, project, all this comes out. So the child will never forget, okay, these are the things that is required. So again, I'm sharing some more projects which have been done so that you get idea. Another, this is another biscuit. You know, which biscuits are these? Somebody can put in the chat. One was good day. This is the second type of biscuit. Yes, that is Oreo. Manpreet, ma'am. <laughs> you seem to be <laughs> the super fast in this. All the biscuits, ma'am, is identifying very nicely. So this Oreo biscuit, what is it showing? Uh, very beautifully, the faces of a moon. You see, inside the Oreo biscuit, there is that white cream, and that has been made very beautifully, uh, showing the faces of the moon. That the Earth, and there is a full moon, there is a crescent moon, there is a half moon. Everything is demonstrated so beautifully with the help of so natural. It's uh, through the help of one biscuit packet, the whole thing can be shown, right? So this is what is happening uh, in uh, art integration, which we never thought about a few years back. So the amazing ideas that is coming up, right? So this is the first part, and now I'm going to uh, go to the second part, okay? That's the first part. Uh, what has been happening traditionally that uh, was there. Now I want to come to the present scenario of the new circular, okay? 
So the new circular was shared by the CBSC. And I'm just going to show you that circular first. You must have read it, but very quickly, just to understand the nuances and what is the requirement so that if somebody has not read it or somebody has not understood, we can take up that, okay? So yes, absolutely amazing ideas there. So here, just uh, this was the circular that was issued by CBC on 25th April, applicable for this year. And this obviously is a new circular. One was three years back in 2020. Now it is a new circular. And obviously they are integrating the national education policy to create joyful learning in our classrooms. So how to implement it is all very clearly mentioned here. So I'm just going to tell you the main guidelines. The first thing that is that the project should be age appropriate. So don't give very tough projects to small kids or a very easy projects to uh, senior students. So it has to be age appropriate, number one. And the second point, many educators are questioning, uh, you know, and creating confusion and uh, they, you know, it's not implemented properly. Read this point number two very clearly that at least one art integrated project in each subject shall be taken up by all students of class nine and 10, all students of nine and 10. For classes nine and 10, the art integrated project will be assessed as part of the subject enrichment activity in all the subjects for internal assessment. This is the most important part of this uh, whole presentation that we have to give project in each subject. It is important. Okay, this circular is available on CBC. If you are not seeing the CBC website and you are believing in random postings here and there, please don't do that. The CBC website is the only source from where you should derive information. And I will be sharing you access to two very beautiful books, which are available again on, uh, on websites. And third point, very important, class one to eight are encouraged to take at least one age appropriate interdisciplinary project, at least one. So one you can do, you can do two, okay? At least one, you need not do it in all the subjects. The instruction is very clear that one to eight must be encouraged to take at least one art integrated project interdisciplinary. So this word interdisciplinary is coming only for class one to eight. So many were asking in nine, 10th. No, nine, 10th, it is separate subject wise, right? And this is the second part. And if you look at the sixth part, minimum one project, of students of 1 to 10, it is mandatory to integrate any paired state as defined in EBSB, that is Ek Bharat, Shresh Bharat. So you may do three projects, four projects, that's okay. But at least in one project, it, was, it should be EBSB project, that is paired over. In every project, you don't have to pair it in at least one. So one, two, three, that's up to you. You should do it. Subject teachers with art teachers must plan the whole thing. Okay. And this is what the circular is. I hope you have gone through this. And these are the steps that is being said. First, you select the theme, then you provide opportunity for them, then you will assess the students and then the reflection on what they learned and so on. And it is very clearly mentioned, it's not an individual project, it should be done by students in group of four to five. Okay, assessment techniques, you have to decide. There is no rubrics mentioned here. You can decide your own rubrics. When it has to be done, you have to decide. CBC is very flexible on this. When it has to be done, who has to do it, how many students should be? They are only suggesting four to five. It can be three, it can be six. That's okay. Suggestive four to five. Okay. Divide the whole class. It should not be very large, but not be very small. There should be all kinds of students in, uh, involved in this. Okay. So it has to be an integral part of the assessment. Okay. And this is very specifically mentioned. It is subject enrichment. It doesn't come in any other category. Now comes the next part. You know, some 11, 12 teachers, they are confused about the projects. Now, that is art integrated learning. It is not art integrated project. It's totally different. Art integrated learning will continue as a tool for classes 1 to 12, right? It's, it's a different thing altogether, okay? Yeah, the project can be given any time during vacations or when the school reopens or whenever. That is up, totally up to you. Flexibility is there. Totally, totally flexible, right? The objective of AIL is not to promote art and skills of arts, but to use art as a tool to teach other subjects. So to, to teach other subjects, okay, this is important. So art integrated learning is a tool to teach. Uh, so this is where the difference lies. Art integrated project is something which the student is doing and submitting. Art integrated learning is something where the teacher is using and integrating the ideas and making a beautiful lesson plan out of it. 
And if you have not attended the two days back, I had a, a session on how to make lesson plans using chat GPT and converting in that into a PPT. Please do watch that. Because these are all things which educators should know. I mean, today the educator should be one step ahead of the students because the learning pace of the students is so fast that if you don't keep pace with the students, they will not listen to you. Okay, you will be outdated. You can no longer go to the class with your old 10-year-old books and repeat the same stuff because they will be talking about modern stuff. And if you are going with your old 10-year knowledge or 20-year knowledge, then you will make a sad face in front of your students. Right. So learning has to be continuous. The very fact that people are attending webinars now shows that you are willing to learn. So I'm very happy that all our webinars are going full and there are so, so many people want. So we are also recording and providing that. So it is important that we take out. You are taking out time. Now. This time you could have watched a movie. You could have gone to a restaurant. You could have enjoyed with your friends. But you prefer to come here and understand this. And so it is happening with other webinars. So it is important that we go through this whole, uh, uh, we understand. Otherwise, we cannot uh, compete with the others or we will make a, you know, sorry figure in front of our students or we may not follow CBC protocols. We may, doing wrong, may be doing wrong things. And, you know, after all this, we have to uh, put it in the Kalasetu portal. CBC, you just go to there. Kalasetu portal is there. We have to upload all this there at the end of the year. Now you just maintain your records and then at the end of the year. Now, those who don't know, these are the new paired states, okay? The pairing has changed. So Jammu Kashmir is with Gujarat, West Bengal is with Tamil Nadu. All this, you must have seen that. This. So the new pairing has come. Please don't carry on with the old pairing. So this is the new pairing which is there. If you haven't downloaded the circular, please do. This is very, very important for every educator from classes 1 to 12 that you know what is the paired stage. Suggested activities, they have given lots. This is only suggested, but you can think about your own ideas. They've also given you that which subject can be used for this. Okay. So sketching from nature can be used in all the subjects. Sketching from nature can be used from all subjects. Like pyramids of Egypt can be used in maths. It can be used in science. It can be used in English, economics, whatever. There are so many dimensions to it. So all these suggested things are already given to us. We just have to see what, can, what works best in our schools. Because every school is different. Every student is different, situations are different. So we cannot, you know, implement the same thing all over. Collage work, printing work, you know, block printing, clay work, bamboo, uh, then uh, assignments of, which can be made of plaster of Paris, clay, all this there, okay? And uh, we have more suggested activities. I'm showing you the full circular, okay? We have lots and lots of activities, puppets, uh, then uh, how puppets can, puppets can be used in every subject practically, right? Then exhibitions and uh, field visits. So many ideas they've already given in all the subjects, whether it is performing arts or anything, folk music, tribal music, everything can be integrated, right? Everything can be integrated. Photographs can be taken, you know. So you go through the circular, I'm not wasting much time because the circular is already available. Everybody knows to read and write. I don't want to go into stuff which is already available. I want to basically show you stuff. Okay. So that's my job. So the reading part you can do. These are the suggested activities. So I am just ending this here and I'm going to the third part. Okay. So this is how you fill in and all that. So this is the technical stuff. Whoever is the coordinator, they will know how to do this. Or I have created a previous video on how to do uploading of uh, this stuff on the Kalasi2 portal. If you have not seen that, it's everything is available on my channel, how to upload and everything. So that is a separate topic altogether. So I'm not going into the uploading because everybody doesn't upload. Maybe one or two people in the whole school are involved, right? So it's important that uh, uh, we understand this. So this is the circular. And uh, now I'm going to show you another thing that is to Beautiful books. One is, you must have seen this art integrated book, which is by CBSC. The art integration book is there by CBSC. This is towards experiential learning. You just have to Google search art integration CBSC. You will get the PDF of this book. This book is having lots and lots of examples of what can be done. This was given in 2019 when the previous circular was there. Okay, so but the parameters of everything you will find with lots and lots of examples. 
So here are integrated activities, why all this? And they have given also lots of uh, examples. So I'm just showing you this. I'm not going into the detail because these are all very exhaustive things. So I, you should know that such material is available, okay? Such material is available. They have given all this and you can download this. Just type in uh, this uh, art integration CBSC, okay? The second book uh, that you can refer to is for art integrated learning. This is a challenge because this the onus is on the teacher now, right? How to project, how to do the, so guidelines for art integrated learning. So this is another book, art integrated learning. Okay, so this is also a very, very useful book. This is by NCRT. So that book is by CBSE. This book is by NCRT, right? So most of the schools have already downloaded this. If you are not aware or if you have not got a copy of this, it's available freely on websites. You can download both the books and keep it for your reference. So here you will find a lot of introduction and you will also find a lot of uh, projects done in different parts of India, right? You just have to scroll through and you will find lots and lots of examples, right? So uh, again, this document, I am not going through the whole document. Uh, my idea is again, uh, you just have to Google search uh, art integration CPC, art integration NCRT. It's very simple. So those of you who are asking me for the links, I'll just show you, demonstrate, okay, and show you. So just see, you take out your Google, okay? No need for any link or anything. You will just have to type in art integration CBSC. Okay, just type in that and you are going to get this. Art integration, you want a PDF. So CBSC PDF you can type so that you get the, yeah. So here you are going to get this all the required material that is there, okay? So this is a PDF. See here it's written here PDF, so you can download this. So guidelines are integrated. So you will get the same book that I was talking about, right? So just type in art integration CBSC PDF, art integration uh, NCRT PDF, you will get that. So I've demonstrated so that otherwise I'll be getting messages on how to do it. So it's simple, you can download directly from PDF and onto your laptops, right? Or your mobile if you're using that. Now we come to the last part of, uh, I have just briefly uh, tried to explain how to integrate two states, okay? So this is going to be my last part and then we come to the questions. So I'm just going to show you briefly how it has to be done. You just give me uh, 30 seconds to share the presentation. So I have just prepared a sample, okay, very, uh, uh, it's not a very elaborate thing. My main idea, as I told you, is that to give you ideas, okay? Then once the ideas come, then you can work on it. You are all very, very uh, proficient in all this. So <clears throat> I'm just presenting in all this full screen so that you can understand. Yes, so I have just taken uh, Delhi and Andamans. The reason is very simple that, one second. Yeah, just give me a minute. <clears throat> so yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, I had a session on how to make uh, PPT. So that uh, slide has come. So I will be taking the other one. One second. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the, I'm just giving you an idea of how 
two states can be integrated. You can work in your own states, right? Yeah, right. So you are able to see this. So I have tried to integrate Delhi and Andamans. Now Andaman, you know, is a coastal area and Delhi is north where there is no water practically. Right. So it's a it's a contrasting uh, two places. So the basic thing that has to be demonstrated is that it is a coastal area. Right. And uh, it is... Um, you are you are putting some images just to you know catch the attention of people. These are all AI generated images. So which I had explained how <clears throat> how to generate AI images. You can do that very easily. Uh, now to actually integrate this, the culture and all that. So what is important is to understand what is the Andamans. Now explain to the student because unless you know about that particular place, they'll never be able to do anything. So we should know that. So I have just given a brief idea that it is located, especially social sciences teachers and all that they can integrate very beautifully. The location, where is it? So Andamans is basically in the Bay of Bengal and it is known for its rich culture and tradition. So Andamans is, uh, it's, it's a practically an island state. And uh, here we see that it is in the Bay of Bengal, right? So if I look at the position of Andamans, this is the position of so map work. So when you're doing giving the map work, the position is important because when one thing is showing that in the actual map, so Andaman is right there. If you see from the Indian mainland, it is quite far and it is a small group of islands there. And that is Andaman in the Bay of Bengal. So the student should understand the location, whichever is your paid state, right? And then comes the Next part, the Lakshwadeep. So we are paired with two. So I'm showing Lakshwadeep also. Again, Lakshwadeep, it's uh, about 300 kilometers from Kochi, which is in Kerala. And now this is in the Arabian Sea. So Andaman is in the Bay of Bengal. And if I look at Lakshwadeep, it is in the Arabian Sea. They are not together. They are on opposite sides. So the student may probably not have seen. So Lakshwadeep, if you see, is here in the Arabian Sea. Okay. And Andaman was in Bay of Bengal. So it comes as a revelation. The reason being that many of us don't, uh, you know, uh, really read all this or understand this. So this comes as a surprise to many students who have never visited that. Yeah, it's a coral island, very beautifully shared by, uh, we had someone sharing that. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. So, yes. So going further, So this, I had already explained to you that this is the location. Now, when we come to the actual things that happen, what is happening in these, the cultural heritage, then you look at this, the wood carvings. So Andaman is famous for the wood carvings. So show, show them this. Everybody cannot do this, but I am sure that there will be some students who will come up with something very beautiful. I have had students who have brought about stuff on chalk you know, they will use to chalk and then you catch them. What are you doing? And they will say that, you know, they have designed something on the chalk. Similarly, I'm sure that you must have students who do wonderful things. So wood carvings is something which is found in Andamans and very beautifully carved objects. So you can, this all, you know, brings out uh, uh, the creativity of the students and they will be able to, uh, yeah. So some <laughs> Sumati Mama said that chalk carving they are doing. So if they are doing on chalk means they can do on uh, others also right so this is uh, what can be done when we give chance to our students right so this is uh, again seashells seashells uh, can be used in different different ways to decorate and make into objects jewelry lampshades and so on so the student is given an idea on all this and look at this cane and bamboo craft art Again, from the Andamans, they are using cane and bamboo and converting that into 
uh, decorative pieces. They are using it as uh, chairs and all that is there and uh, that is their livelihood. Now, this is again palm leaves and uh, uh, they are using the palm leaves and uh, to decorate stuff and they're making baskets. Okay, so th these are all stuff which, uh, which can be shown to the students. So there are a lot of you who are sharing a lot of information in the chat also, that is great. And here the paintings, uh, we used to uh, do the Sikkim art, now we are doing the andamans, the art, the unique paintings are there using geometric designs. Again, symmetries involved, a lot, a lot of maths is involved. Uh, that when you talk about the texture, uh, you are, uh, yes, so uh, ma'am is saying, Anjali ma'am is saying that she has used these baskets. So these are all different, different ideas by which things can be done. Now look at this Andamanese pottery uh, where they're using clay pots and decorating it with a uh, different, different stuff. So artistic skills are being shown, right? And here the dance forms. Different dance forms are there, which again can be studied and used in our projects to work. And, uh, you know, in maths and science also, some people ask how uh, formations we uh, do, we have done on, if you search on YouTube, there is actually a lot of dance on formations. Like they make pyramids, they make conical structures, cubes, cuboids. Somebody had shared on the WhatsApp groups, you know, making numbers while they are dancing and all. So different, different stuff can be done. Uh, this is again jewelry with the help of uh, shells. So these are all examples that students should be made aware of this, then they can write about it. So diverse forms of art and culture. India is very rich in terms of art and culture and everything can be incorporated into our projects. So what is important for us is to understand is that we have to, in at least one project, we have to incorporate in terms of uh, the EBSB, the rest of the project can be integrated as per the demand of your subject. If it is maths and science, it can be practical work. Uh, if, it, if it is English or Hindi or languages, you can work accordingly and so on. So uh, with this, I want to take up the last five minutes uh, in question and answer. If somebody is having any specific doubt, I will be happy to answer it. And then we wind up for this day and uh, till we meet again. Okay, so I'm unmuting everybody at the moment and then uh, you will get an opportunity to ask the questions. So if anybody has any question, they can ask and then we wind up for the day. Thank you. Uh, good evening, sir. Thank you for this wonderful uh, PPT and sharing of uh, uh, and knowledge, sir. Thank you so much. And I have a query, actually. Last year, uh, year we had uh, Tamil Nadu paired up with uh, Kashmir. Yeah. Uh, so we had a separate uh, EBSP activity too, wherein Kashmir language was given and we had to take up uh, each and everything. And we used to do during academic, uh, 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 actually, uh, during assemblies. And uh, we learned many uh, like uh, uh, numbers and uh, words and other stuff. The same thing needs to be done for uh, this year too, with yes, West Bengal, because yeah. we didn't yeah. uh, get any circular yeah. related to that. No, they are saying that one EBSB project has to be there. That's all. So how you are integrating okay. again is your choice. Okay. The CBSE okay, because, uh, yeah. okay, there was a separate portal in uh, uh, CBSE Academics wherein we have to go uh, get in and we have to upload the videos, whatever we are making it, sir. We had to present it as a separate uh, uh, the whole year, whatever we have done uh, related no. to EBSB project. And as a academics, what we are doing, as well as that also needs to be presented. And uh, um, whatever it's happening, like uh, Unity Day was there in Kashmir. So correct. we took up those things and we did it. The same thing needs to be done for West Bengal. For that, uh, they didn't give no, any... So that is not mandatory as of now for this year. There is, there is okay, fine, which is fine. saying that it is mandatory. If there are some schools who are interested in doing, they are doing it. Otherwise, 90% of the schools are not doing it because uh, the circular, fine. there is no mandatory circular which has come for this year. Fine, sir. Fine, sir. And one more thing is related to this G20 activity too. Mm. We didn't receive any circulars and where it so, needs to be yeah. uploaded also, we didn't. Yeah, so whenever we are, see what happens now is that now many of the schools are taken as pilot projects. So many of the schools okay. are actually not even aware that such things have to be done. The reason being that okay. for their region or for their schools, the circular hasn't come. 
So uh, okay. we need not worry about that. So whatever is on the CBC side is for the entire India or wherever there is CBC schools across okay. the world. But rest of the circulars okay. which you hear from here, they hear from there, they are not mandatory circulars. No. They are not mandatory. Fine. Fine, sir. Fine, sir. Then we have to concentrate only upon this AIL yeah. and uh, art integrated Absolutely. projects. AIL That's and art integrated okay. project, one minimum EBSB integrated. That's all. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for okay. clarifying, sir. Thank you so much. Yes. So, is there any chance that uh, such informative session can be repeated again? Because um, we were able to join. And the, the recording will the... be provided to you at nine o'clock. The recording will come. The full session recording I will be posting in the groups. In the group, okay. in the webinar group. No, you are in the webinar group. I hope. Uh, I don't think. So. Um, how did you get the link for today's meeting? No, with the school school webinar group. Yeah, school webinar group. I'm there. So through uh, the school that only. Is, that is your personal now. AIF. Those who are not members of AIF, please do join our webinar groups. If you're not a member, I'm putting okay. my number in the chat. Please message me. I'll put you in. I'll give you the okay. link. Definitely. Definitely. Because Thank we you. are having webinars practically every week on some topic or the other. These days, it's okay. holiday, so it's practically every day. So I'm putting my number okay. there. If anyone is not a member, please WhatsApp yeah. me and I will be able okay. to yeah, I will be able to add you to the relevant groups. Thanks. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, I just want to ask one question regarding art integration learning. Can uh -huh. you just specify that once again that as a teacher, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, so ma'am, art integrated learning is how we are presenting a particular topic. So which subject do you teach, ma'am? Uh, I'm teacher Preeti Shanoi. My name, uh, ah, Preeti, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> I saw only Preeti, na. So I didn't yeah. know. Preeti Shanoi, ma'am. So ma'am, sorry. sorry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. so ma'am, so when we are taking maths, for example, so when we are introducing a topic, when we are introducing a topic, that is the best way to bring in AIL. So suppose we are doing arithmetic progressions, then we can start with some, you know, progressions which exist in nature. For example, uh, you know, the, the flower petals, the flower petals, or if you see uh, the golden ratio which exists uh, between uh, different parts of our body, so, like this, something can be introduced in terms of art. For example, uh, as I said, in body forms, in structures, like Taj Mahal is a beautiful example of the golden ratio. And arithmetic progressions you will find on the turtle's back. So, I have done a session on this art integrated learning separately. If you have not seen, uh, you... you well, I think I've, be, I've attended yeah. that. I couldn't yes, yes. connect two things so, now i've understood yeah yeah so we so can I have to record it uh, i have to record it for myself right yes yes whatever i'm doing yeah absolutely so, so you could you could the any the all this will come see every day we cannot do an art integrated lesson the, but the starting right. point the starting point or the conclusion for example if you mm -hmm. are doing something on trigonometry the conclusion could be measure the height of the building uh, you know by uh, using a clinometer or something like that so we can give some projects like that where they are using that and you know they they will integrate what they have learned practically and we can show a lot of examples from nature okay sir thank you sir i got you. yeah so i have put my number in the chat in case somebody is not there in the aia webinar group you can put that 9818946850 is my number only please whatsapp okay <laughs> we will be putting okay so on that note i think i will stop thank you so much have a good night. Happy learning and happy teaching. All the best to everyone. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you, sir. Okay. Good night. Thank you very Have much. Have a good sir. night. Good night, sir. Good night. 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 Good night.